Next, we go on the road with artist Chakaya Booker, who creates art from recycled tires and other discarded materials. Jersey Ride, the Jersey City Museum's retrospective of her work, explores how she's been influenced by the urban, industrial landscape around her native Newark. If you use any discarded material, it always comes with its own history. It has the history of, of the manufacturer that actually produced the product. It has the history of the person who utilized it and what happened to it along the way through its travels. It could then collect things, paint or dirt or stones or glass or anything. And once I am able to utilize the material, then all of this is information that's in the actual piece. I was born in Newark and I grew up in East Orange and traveled a great deal with family members in, uh, in New Jersey. I think that that's my, my sort of starting base, just like a discarded material. She spent her formative years here. That has a huge impact, I think, on your psyche as an adult, the urban elements, the recycling element, because there is such an industrial landscape here in New Jersey. I grew up with, the, with family members who sewed. Uh, my grandmother, my aunt, and my sister, and my mother was also very much into fashion. I grew up seeing these people uh, create works of art. When I get up in the morning, I begin to sculpt myself. Those things that I do are the things that you see in the work. And we got on the subway and someone asked her about her head wrap, and she responded that it was art. And I remember reading an interview that she did with um, a curator that she thought that every act in life can be an artwork. When you think about a, a person who's a painter, uh, their color is their palette. In my palette, I have the patterns from the tires. And this is a very charcoal black. You also have a very light sort of steel gray. Initially, looking at the tires, I thought that they looked like the textiles in African art, the sculptures that are created, the sort of scarification that happens uh, in Africa. The title is Echoes in Black, Industrial Cicatrization. Thinking in terms of uh, scarification, sort of daily grind that people go through, because people do have to work in order to um, maintain themselves. Like, I think it's interesting that she uses that concept of the repugnant Rapunzel because it's something I think that all young women deal with growing up, this fairy tale image of the perfect woman, whether it's in a fairy tale or even in the media, um, and sort of twisting that and making it repugnant. And so I know, first of all, that she, was, she wasn't trained as an artist. And her BA is in sociology, so she was interested in social issues, um, which I think is what makes her work so interesting. 